Hello everyone, this is the Botta guy Anthony Tan. 10 crucial points to where to position your air purifier. If you'd like to know, stick around and keep watching. Everybody say O's! Oh! <laughs> Ten crucial points on where to position an air purifier for best results. As you may already know, air purifiers are quite helpful devices to have in your home, especially if you or anyone in your home is prone to air pollution or if you just want to minimize your exposure to dangerous air contaminants. However, once you have an air purifier, you won't get the most protection out of it unless you position it correctly in your home. So in this video, we share the ten most important points on where best to position an air purifier. In a nutshell, air purifiers should be placed in an obstruction-free area. To ensure optimal airflow and air purification, they should have a clearance of at least two feet from other objects on all sides where they extract and release air. Air purifiers are best placed in the most polluted and occupied rooms of a home. Once you understand the need for clearance and tackling air pollution by placing your purifier as close to the source of pollution as possible, then you can start to consider all the other factors entailed in positioning your air purifier for best results. Without wasting any more time, here are the 10 key points. 1. Position your air purifier for the best airflow. As highlighted earlier, the most important thing to consider when positioning air purifiers is airflow. This also applies to air purifiers that don't use fans as part of their purification process such as ionizers and electrostatic precipitators. All air purifiers need good airflow to work effectively. 2. Place your air purifier at the source of pollution. The next thing you need to ensure is that you have identified where the pollution in your home is coming from. Pollution can come into your home through walls or vents from your neighbor's place if you stay in apartments. Other sources of pollution in your home could be carpet fumes, your cat litter box, off-gassing from various products, especially in your storeroom, your pet's living space, or dust and pollen coming in through windows and doors. 3. Position your purifier according to noise level. This should really concern you if you enjoy having silence in a room while you are reading, studying, or sleeping. Some air purifiers are just outright noisy. If you are sensitive to noise, you will need to get a silent air purifier. You also may need to have multiple air purifiers, with the more pricey quieter devices operating in rooms where you don't want any noise while the nosier devices are placed in rooms where you can tolerate the device's humming sound. 4. Position your device to deal with kitchen pollution. If you cook at home or have a full-blown kitchen that you use frequently, you will understand how much pollution can come from your kitchen. You not only get pollution and odors from your cooking, but also detergents, your bin, under sink odor, and stuff stored in your pantry, or whatever kitchen storage you have. To avoid accidents, the best place for an air purifier in the kitchen is on the wall. So, you would have to go with a device that you can mount on the wall. The next option is to clear space for your device amid the areas in your kitchen with appliances, and to avoid areas that often get wet. 5. Put your air purifier in the most polluted room. By placing an air purifier at the source of your pollution, you will significantly improve the quality of your air. So, place your devices in the most polluted room in your house, in addition to your kitchen. 6. Position your air purifier in the bedroom. The bedroom is a very important place to have an air purifier. When you place an air purifier in your bedroom, make sure the end that releases the clean air is facing your head. However, don't put your air purifier too close to your head in case it causes a draft, which can be bad for your health. 7. Place your device in a safe place. Completely avoid wet surfaces or areas in your home that are busy when positioning your air purifier, unless of course you don't mind getting electrocuted. Also, you should read the safety instructions in your air purifier's manual. It will guide you on all other safety precautions you need to take when positioning your device. 8. Do not position your purifier next to other appliances. Do not put your air purifier next to other appliances like your microwave, fridge, cooker, stereo system, or near your TV. Your air purifier operates at around the same wavelength as these devices and they can interfere with each other's operation while you use them simultaneously. 9. Position by type and brand of air purifier. When it comes to positioning by brand type, the best thing you can do is to consult your manufacturer's manual or usage guide. 
as a general rule of thumb, you can place ionizer air purifiers and photocatalytic oxidation air purifiers pretty much anywhere in a room provided you have taken into account airflow. Unless they are designed to be mounted, avoid putting HEPA purifiers on an uneven or slanted surface. You should always try to have a HEPA purifier placed on a flat surface. When all is said and done, just as devices come in different shapes and sizes, their position by type and brand also vary alike. This leads us to our final point. 10. Position your device on the floor, on the table or on the wall. Whether an air purifier can be placed on the floor, on the table or on the wall strongly depends on how it was designed. Some devices are heavy and big and some even come with wheels to move them around and it does not make any sense at all putting them on top of a table. Some devices are portable and these can be put on any surface. Some manufacturers even design their air purifiers for multiple placements, including placement on the wall and in your ceiling. With a ceiling air purifier, your device operates completely free of any obstruction and tampering. This is pretty much all the basics of positioning your air purifier for best results. If you like content like this and follow us in Facebook page, find Mr. Botaga Anthony Tan from YouTube. So I see you in the next video. Bye!